So, welcome back to another episode. Now, a while ago, I did an episode talking about some records that were getting released that had me very, very excited. And why I was so excited is they were records of some of my favorite video game music, Streets of Rage, okay, on the Genesis Mega Drive, and Shenmue on the Dreamcast were getting vinyl releases where it's been a while now and these have just shown up and I'm, I've gotten everything ready but I have not unboxed it, I have not seen it yet. So these have been packaged extremely well. They had to come a long way from London, England all the way to Canada here and they've arrived and you know unscathed and very very nice looking. I can't wait to look at this stuff. Let's let's do this one first. Here we go. Streets of Rage by Yuzo Koshiro, one of my favorite musicians from back in the Mega Drive Genesis days. I loved his music on Revenge of Shinobi and on Streets of Rage. I couldn't believe it when I heard that some of my favorite music was coming on record. I was like, really? I don't even own a record player. And after I finish this review, I am going to go uh, to a friend of mine's place who has a record player and I'm going to play the music. I'm going to see how it is because I am a big fan of records. So here's the, here's the cover here. Isn't that great? There's something about having a really big record. That was one thing when I was a kid that I liked about records is it was all about the artwork. Uh, of, of the band at the time and it's so great to see the artwork of the game. So let's open her up here. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Beautiful prints inside. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, you don't get that on CD, do you? <laughs> That's really, really nice. That's really, it's really thick too. It's really cardboardy. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this record. Oh, this is out. This is gorgeous. This really, really is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really something else. Very impressive. Very impressive. This is getting me into, into becoming a record. Um, Collector something I've been kind of scared to do because it's such a huge huge type of thing, but oh my god it's, I'll just put these over here for now Beautiful presentation Oh, oh, oh. Orgasm time Shenmue Shenmue on vinyl who would have ever seen the day this would have happened Wow look at that something else. Wow. Let's open this up. Another, another beautiful print. Really nice stuff. Good job, guys. Oh my god, that's really good. Really something else. And the record itself. <laughs> Look at the design. Side A, side B. Wow. Now, there's something to be said about records. There's just. Some, something great about it being so large and all that, but I have very I, a lot of memories as a kid playing records on these big record players and it was like shaking my house. It was so incredible and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and listen to the music of these records on a real record player. I'm really really stoked to do this so I will come back in a bit and finish this review.
Okay, honestly, and I'm not biased because I have these incredible records, but there's something about putting a record on a real record player and putting the needle down and hearing that hiss just for a moment and hearing the music play. I sat back and I was like, wow, this sounds really good. And I don't know, it might be purely, uh, you know, like uh, psychological because I remember in C with CDs back in the day, CDs versus LPs, there were so many arguments, so many whatever, but it doesn't really matter. What mattered is I sat and listened to these and I thought they, they sounded fantastic. I thought they were great. I thought they were great. And uh, there's just something cool about it being on record. These are something that you don't see nowadays. You don't see a lot of records. It, it's, it is a, a niche hobby for sure. And it's coming back though. Records are coming back. And I got to thank uh, Data Discs for creating such incredible uh, remastered versions of this music on vinyl. I, I'm so happy that a company would do this again, would would take old video game soundtracks, which, which to a lot of people are long forgotten, like Streets of Rage, we're talking the early 90s, you know, 89, 90, when this came out, and it's 2015, and people are bringing them onto to discs now. I, I think it's wonderful, and uh, for anybody who's interested, I will put a link down below to their website. I think they're sold out, but you can go and check that out. This was all pre-ordered a long time ago when they were first released and uh, I couldn't believe it when they showed up. I'm like, oh my God, they're they're finally here. And let me tell you this, they're worth the wait. They are definitely worth the wait. Uh, to say I got Streets of Rage on vinyl is automatically fucking cool. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the vinyl records and let you guys hear some of the music as it's playing on the record players to see how cool it was. So anyways, guys, until next time.